welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you out on a productive Saturday. My husband and I are going to our favorite, favorite, favorite coffee shop and we're gonna just show you how we work, what we do, and then I'll talk to you all a little bit about productivity tips and if you are looking to increase productivity in your own life. So I just wanted to show him and I actually match, which is pretty exciting. And then, I know, kind of corny, but we have matching cups too. So go ahead and come with us as we go and hit the coffee shop and have a really productive Saturday. We just got back from the coffee store and we typically spend about four hours there uh, Saturdays and Sundays actually my husband has side clients which he works for so he does that work during the day or he studies for a cert I typically work on YouTube videos for one hour the second hour is more of studying third hours is networking and projects and then the fourth hour can be whatever I haven't done enough of. It helps myself stay in accountability of what I have to do throughout the day. So if you are looking to increase your productivity, of course, but also make sure that you get things done and stay consistent, what I really think is the key here is that you have to tell yourself and also make sure that it's like written places that you're gonna be doing something. Because if you just say you're going to do something, it's so easy, just like saying I'm gonna to go to the gym, right? Here comes five o'clock, you're tired after work, are you really going to go? You have to be able to take steps throughout the day that tells you I'm going to study, I'm going to go work out, I'm going to do A, B, C, or D, to really be able to help you finish that cross line of what you have to do throughout the day. So you saw my husband go with me to the coffee shop today and rewind a year ago, he never would have gone. Just going to the coffee store, he would have been like, um, no thank you. And I would have been like, okay, well bye. And little by little, he really enjoyed just going. It puts him in the mental state of, hey, I'm here to work. And now we're going out every weekend. We're not necessarily buying a coffee. Don't feel like you have to buy a coffee and spend money to actually go somewhere and study. You're going out to enjoy the environment. You're putting yourself in a place where you mentally can relax. You can prepare yourself for working for so-and-so hours. So if you are interested in libraries, coffee shops, having friends work with you, if you're more of a solo worker, whatever works for you, Find that out and put yourself in fun environments where you can actually look forward to going out and say, hey, I'm gonna go study for my next certification coming up. I'm gonna go to a coffee store. That will really help you. And if you're outside of the Fort Worth, Dallas area, let me know about coffee shops to visit too. My last and final tip for you is going to be using a method where you're not overworking yourself. So if you're gonna go study for three or four hours, you need to make sure that you divide it up. It's going to be easy on the brain if you're just saying I'm gonna work for these four hours and I'm not gonna lift my head up, I'm not gonna go take a break. Make sure that you step away between so-and-so hours that you're gonna be spending at the coffee shop or local library, for example. I specifically use something called the Promodoro technique and that essentially means that I am going to be studying for 25 minute segments with let's say five minute breaks in between and you can adjust it to however you want. So basically between that 25, 5, 25, 5, 25, 5, 25, 5, 5 say that fast, you just go, okay, you got to put your computer away, you got to make sure you step away, give yourself a break. If you don't want to put your computer away, just turn on YouTube, do something entertaining when you can take a break. The technique, specifically the Pomodoro, is meant to be able to give your brain 
a little bit of a relaxation time period so you can start memorizing and remembering and come back essentially stronger. So if you are looking for some type of technique to be able to improve your productivity during a work time period, perhaps when you don't really wanna go study, the Pomodoro is perfect. Your brain knows how long you're gonna study. It looks forward to the session. It's not like, oh, I have to do this, this thing, the studying thing. You actually know when you're going to take a break, which is really great for you mentally. So a lot of people like doing the Pomodoro in different methods. There's people who just like having their iPhone and pulling out and having like a 25 minute timer and it alerts them essentially when that timer is done. Some people use a desktop version or some people use music. And I'm one of those people that use music. I find YouTube videos that have some type of relaxing lo-fi audio in the back. And I have a workout partner at the same time because typically people record themselves studying and it just feels like you're there together and you kind of have like a study buddy. So if you are interested in using the Pomodoro technique with music, I'm going to list some of my favorite playlists right here, here, and here. And then you can also check out some of the links in the description below. So I hope that you like the Pomodoro techniques. If you have some others that you already use, definitely make sure to put it in the comment section below. I think it'd be really cool if we could share with each other and, and really help each other in this learning journey. So I really hope that these productivity tips were helpful. I've been a content creator and working three to four jobs throughout the last year. And along with finding productivity hacks, it's about consistency because at the end of the day, you really, really, really have to make sure that you find things that work for you. So whether it be this productivity video with tips or another one, find out what works for you, apply it, and then you'll be able to feel like you can keep that productivity going within your life. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!